Didn't you tell me she's not the social kind? That she's especially unsociable? Or does she only like loud and crowded clubs? No, she's really not like that. But she owns the place. Judging by the flyer, it must be a very busy club. Especially on New Year's Eve, right? I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding Miss Katsenko. But there's one small problem, Mr. Featherland. Let me guess. Mr. Wessler better not know about my visit. Exactly. How did you know? Twenty years experience, ma'am. Oh, and please, call me Sonny. It was a pleasure to meet you, Mr. I mean, Sonny. I'll talk about the rest with Ms. Katsenko in person. A good friend of mine would be happy to take you home if you'd like. I'd appreciate that, Sonny. She doesn't seem so dangerous that I need to grab my gun, but you never know. My last cigarette. <laughs> You're lucky I don't have a light, pal. My wallet and my badge. The wallet is real, the badge ain't. Chief Blood Boil took mine, so I got this one out of a pack of cornflakes, just in case. Legs that go on. Thank you again, Mr. Feather. I mean, Sonny. Don't mention it, Deborah. I had no other plans for today, except drink. But tell me, do you have a light? I'm sorry, I, I don't smoke. Thought so. Hey, Lewis. Am I bothering you? No. <laughs> of course not, Sonny. Old friend, what's up? Could you come over? I've got a favor to ask if you're not busy. For you, anything. Just a minute. Lewis arrived a few minutes later. He lived in the rooms above, so it wasn't difficult getting here. Not to mention that he's a rabbit. It was a quick hop. The Atlas Hotel was his inheritance. It was once a well-renowned place, but not anymore. The last economic crisis ruined it. And now, besides me, he was the only resident of this enormous place. The good old rabbit. I can always count on him, even on New Year's Eve. Just a bunch of useless cr... Thanks for being so quick, Lewis. Can you drive Miss Ibanez home? I have some things to take care of. Of course, Sonny. You know anything for you. Thank you for being so considerate, Sonny. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Goodbye, then. So long, Deborah. Before I visit the club, I have to take a detour. I've got a feeling that this case isn't going to be a one-man job. And there's only one bird in the city I can trust. My ex-partner, Marty. He's going to be at the station. I can only hope he'll be willing to talk to me.
I can always count on you. Thanks, old buddy. D -d 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 Don't even mention it, my friend. You got anything planned for today? I thought I'd visit a nightclub. It's n n n New Year's Eve, after all. Well, I didn't mean to hold you up. I'll I I ask a favor of you s someday. <laughs> I owe you a lot of those, don't I? That, 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 that's true. I, I, I don't deny it. Maybe I'm just old, and while I'm cl- Could I ask you a few more questions, Deborah? Feel free, Sonny. I've already told you more about myself than I wanted to. Afraid you'll get your hands dirty? I'm afraid I already did. Do you think my whereabouts aren't a secret? Do you think they ever were? Well, I was hoping. Clawville is a big city, but not so big that Santino Featherlin can hide in it. Oh, please. Flatter me more. So, Ibn Wessler, eh? You know you could have dropped the bomb a little earlier. If I started with that, I'm sure you would have thrown me out. You're right. He's one of the most dangerous gangsters in the city. I only know he's an influential businessman. Isn't that the same? Not even you can see the world as that black and white. Sonny, I've already told you what I know. I've never read the message. My job was to give it to you and nothing more. You really are this innocent, aren't you? I'm not sure I get what you mean. Let me give you some advice, sister. Leave the city and get as far as you can from the likes of Ibn Wessler. It's not so simple, Mr. Featherland. My mistress needs me. Is she really that important to you? That you drive around in the dead of night? to questionable places, to deliver messages you know absolutely nothing about. I would do more than that for her. I see. You're smooth. Real smooth. Thank you, Mr. Featherland. Sonny, please. Just Sonny. So this Natasha dame... Look, I'm just the messenger. You have to talk to my mistress about the details. Miss Katsenko was very clear on this matter. I see, but... Please, Sonny, let's not make this even more uncomfortable. Okay, understood. Let's drop it. Thank you. Why do I have the feeling these big Bambi eyes would get me into trouble? I can always count on you. Thanks, old buddy. My bedroom. Sort of. Maybe in another... driving, half drunk, risking my whole life's work, but still it didn't feel any. 